हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज संजय कुमार क्रिएटर ऑफ सेलेक्टर्स ऑफ एंड प्रोपर डायनेमिक एक्स पाथ दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म इन ऑटोमेशन एंड एक्चुअली वी ऑल आर स्ट्रगलिंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम लाइक लोकेटर्स प्रॉब्लम एंड एक्स पाथ प्रॉब्लम थ्रू डायनेमिक एक्स पाथ सो बेसिकली इट इज एन काइंड ऑफ यू कैन कंसिडर एन एक्स पाथ विच विल बी लाइक stable and uh, kind of like will not change immediately for those kind of element whose attribute or uh, whose uh, uh, i mean position or something got changed when we refresh the page so let's see what all different kinds of scenarios could be there one could be uh, when you inspect any element and when uh, you look at the dom and you feel that it could be dynamic for an example here like this class looks dynamic a4 b i c so this is like uh, here it it is like alpha numeric value so we feel that if we will refresh the page this will change right like if you open selector sub here uh, let me just refresh the page here if you open a uh, selector sub so it will uh, show you that it is a kind of like dynamic uh, element like this one if we inspect this element and you see here this looks like a uh, dynamic a4 b i c and here it used to highlight as well like class looks dynamic and check the class check box or delete the class attribute for attribute box so this could be one case but let me copy this value and refresh the page and paste this x path value this didn't didn't get changed so here the attribute was looking dynamic but it didn't change so we can uh, like in this kind of situation if this is your application then you must be knowing which attribute is not going to change so you can write the x path based on that attribute and you can ignore this one there could be uh, some elements for which attribute used to change in those scenarios we uh, literally have to take care of those things let me show you that uh, this kind of dynamic element where attribute value will change on when you will refresh the page so uh, like this here you see that name is equal to name a to b e this is also alpha numeric value but how we will how we can say that this is a like uh, dynamic or static because we have seen there here one scenarios it depends application to application how that application has been developed so this class was not dynamic it is a static though it is looking like numeric uh, dynamic value similarly here name also looks like uh, dynamic but do we know that whether it is dynamic or not let's do the practical thing copy this x path value here with the name and refresh the page and see if this name attribute change or not so when we will refresh the page now let's paste the x path which we have copied last time and hit enter it is showing zero matching note this is the new x path for this element like if you inspect let's say we we'll inspect this element here or you inspect new element let me show this one copy this x path hit enter so you see that this uh, 076c this x path is working right now okay let's copy this x path delete this one from here and refresh the page paste that value which we ever copied now you see that it's not working so this is the kind of like dynamic x path uh, dynamic attribute this at uh, these elements having dynamic attribute so here we we should not use x path we should we will have to write x path based on some other element uh, respective element or use some other attribute so selectors of suggest that this looks like dynamic so name looks dynamic name attributes so uncheck the name so here you uncheck this one and now it is generating with some other attributes which is like pretty much stable so if you will copy this x path from here let's copy this and if we paste it here you see that one matching node now if we refresh the page and again hit the enter you see that this x path is still working so this case like we we are able to generate the dynamic x path through selectors hub there could be one more 
thing uh, this can be done in another way like uh, here you want to for this element we want to write an x path based on this label name so this is even much better approach of course selectors of will give you x path dynamic x path which you can use it in your script but in case like if you want to uh, write an x path with respect to some other uh, with respect to some element quickly you can do very quickly let's see how can we do that so here we want to write an x path for this element with respect to full name this label so first let's write for this one full name and then we'll find the common parent for both and then we'll write the x path for this element so what will be the x path for full name here just start typing td full name so this is for full name and we can take the parent here so take this parent tr this is the parent and now from this one we want this input so inside this it, it is so double forward slash let's say we want this one so double forward slash input you can hit enter and we got the x path for this element so we have written the x path uh, so this is pretty much dynamic x path now which will basically this is a more robust and stable x path which will not change for this element let's copy this x path let's save this x path you can save it as well here and remove from here refresh the page even if you close this one and come back and open it again we can fetch that x path which we have written from here you click and press enter you see that this x path is working so you have seen that we can write and generate the stable and you can say the dynamic x path through selectors up easily and you will have to understand like because apart from you no one else knows better whether the attribute whether those attribute values are dynamic or not because in the world there is no algorithm which can say that abc123 is dynamic or static because it could be static for you and it could be dynamic for me right so depends up to application to application like i showed you here that this looks pretty much dynamic every attribute here looks like dynamic but when you refresh the page you find that those are not dynamic those are static so we can like those who are dynamic uh, those who are automating this website google.com they can directly use like class attribute and easily it will work no matter how many time you refresh the page this class will always be static there but here those who are dyna uh, trying to write the automation for this page then uh, here they cannot use the name attribute because name is uh, pretty much dynamic here for these fields so you will have to uh, write the x path like with respect to some element or you can directly just uncheck the uh, name attribute here and selector sub will do rest for you like if you inspect this element you see that selector sub has generated with without name attribute if you check that then it will generate with name but it will suggest you that name looks dynamic you uncheck the name or if you feel that it is static you can continue so it will help you with in both the scenarios so uh, so this is like really helpful and it uh, hope this will help you a lot while you are write, writing the automation script because uh, this is like these scenarios are very important and this is where the uh, like your intelligence and the, your uh, i mean <clears throat> your capability is required to understand whether attributes are dynamic or static and accordingly you will have to decide which attribute you should choose like uh, for an example here this is one example on amazon so here you see that class looks dynamic here again so <coughs> for this element whether you should uh, because such kind of elements are uh, like very much dynamic here the price value this used to change a lot because uh, if i will refresh the page might this this price might have changed so here in this case you see that selector sub generally used to uh, it used to generate the best possible x path by default but in case it if it goes and generate with here the text value then you can uncheck the text and it will generate without text so, so you see here it is already generating with id i uh, means of, if id is there of course i will i all, i will always suggest that you go with the id one and directly choose the id attribute id locators but in case like if id is also dynamic there are some application like react application they generally have the dynamic id so in that case like you can uncheck the id checkbox it will generate with something else so uh, you will have to take care of uh, like when you are writing x path for such kind of elements you will have to really take care that 
with what attribute your xpath is generating or with what attribute you have written the xpath and you will have to consider that uh, you should not use text in this kind of scenarios where price is changing like every frequent i mean every minute if i refresh the page this might have changed or if, if without refreshing as well that this price could change right if it is dynamic so yeah so you will have to decide and take care of those things likewise uh, there could be some kind of uh, uh, applications where uh, you can consider those elements as well as uh, dynamic like where uh, when you hover mouse over on those elements and then uh, you're not able to inspect those elements so in that case uh, those elements also consider as uh, like dynamic elements let me show you this one here i mean so you can say that those are dynamic elements when you uh, like in goivo.com when you <coughs> uh, type on this box something you see that some drop downs comes here and if you try to inspect these elements uh, they disappear so basically these are dynamic elements which uh, used to appear in the ui when you do some actions so how to write the selectors for such elements because uh, these elements can't be inspected so these are like dynamic uh, drop down values or uh, you can say uh, dynamic uh, <coughs> select drop down and uh, sub menu menu options which used to appear and they immediately disappear as well so in this case like in this kind of situation selector sub has amazing feature debugger feature you just turn on this feature and then within 5 second make that appear again so then it you would be able to like selector sub what selector sub will does it will hold that uh, particular element in the ui and now you would be able to inspect this element here and you would be able to generate the selector so you see that selectors is generated for these elements for these uh, dynamic elements drop down options here you can also check this and then uh, you can as well as you can write so better you can directly take this one so here you can inspect and uh, like uh, xpath as well all the possible selectors are also generated so this way you would be able to handle such kind of dynamic elements there are some kind of like uh, drop down elements if you not able to inspect them those drop down elements here like on <coughs> mintra.com if you are not able to inspect such kind of elements uh, certain uh, drop downs are there in many website which used to disappear immediately so those kind for those kind of elements you can you have the option in uh, selectors of directly you can copy the selectors from the context menu like just by right click on this and here you can customize the context menu like which all options you want in the context menu so that also you can do so here if you right click you will get all those options here like uh, you can copy the context menu value directly from here as well as on like flipkart as well you used to have a lot of like a dynamic drop downs which uh, which we not be able to inspect they immediately disappear so that also you can uh, check out like like these kind of drop downs which if you right click and inspect this element here you see that it will not appear in uh, dom but when you hover and then you inspect that element then it it will appear so in this kind of situation where you can uh, like you copy the value and then paste the value here in selectors up so <coughs> like here let me paste it in selectors up so you see it is showing zero matching node but if you hover uh, like let me show you here it is showing zero matching node but you if you hover on this and now press enter because this fat shirt we have copied for this one so now we have made it visible so it is now it is available in the dom now if you press enter in selector sub it will show one matching node but if you again ho uh, hover out remove your hover from man and press enter then it will not show so these are some kind of dynamic element you can say again not just like uh, dynamic element which has the uh, attribute dynamic uh, but yeah some people consider the, them as well, these as well like which uh, disappear from the dom or not able to we are not able to inspect them so those also like considered invisible element from the drop down so i have showed you the multiple ways to how to handle those kind of scenarios how to handle those kind of elements and how you can write the x path a stable x path for them these are the really important scenarios where you will have to use your uh, like uh, iq to decide which attribute is static and in uh, like if you will have to write the x path with respect to some other element then you do that 
hope this will help you and this is the like really really important uh, thing in uh, web automation where we used to waste almost 50 to 60 percent time if you have written a stable constant dynamic x path for your script in your automation script that means you have uh, done a very great job and you have uh, because this is where the lot of maintenance used to go because if it is not robust and a stable x path your script may break tomorrow and you might have to fix that again and then again it will require a lot of effort so uh, hope this will help you to uh, write the stable selectors for your automation script and it will save a lot of time for you and your team so with that thank you so much and if you like the video please uh, like share and uh, subscribe to the channel for more upcoming updates and to learn all about XPath and uh, all the upcoming innovations on, on Selector Sub. And I would really request you, like, if you are uh, loving the Selector Sub, please feel free to uh, write article blogs on it. Please share with community and colleagues. And uh, if you are someone who has the YouTube channel, feel free to make the tutorial on it. Uh, share the word with others and help them, people, to learn because it helps in many scenarios. Like, if you do something wrong, it will help you. This, error message shadow dom svg it's help a lot in many ways help a lot in learning and if you find it useful in your job and making uh, some money out of it saving time please be a patron support selector hub you can buy me a coffee as well and if you have have any question join on join selectors of telegram group here and feel free to ask any questions anything and if you have any suggestion do reach out to me and if you love selectors of please give a five star rating on browser store this will really help to spread the word about selectors up and it will really mot motivate me to work hard for you guys so with that thank you thank you so much